mindset any different going into tomorrow? Uh, kinda, but we take every game uh, the same. We take it serious. Uh, this game just has a little more meaning behind it, you know, with the school, uh, just with us, guys, the fans, everybody. So this game gonna come out a little bit. It's gonna seem different, but we approach all games the same. How much? Thing about Auburn being undefeated that you would just love nothing more than to hand them the first loss this season. Oh, absolutely. Uh, you know that that's what we that's what we want we want to do. Uh, that's what. Yeah. Uh, we plan for tomorrow to do. Uh, we come out, uh, we execute our game plan very well. Uh, just try to shut out all their strong points and, and do what we got to do. Does that elevate the fact that they are undefeated, the fact that they went to the Final Four last year? Does that elevate this game even more so than the rivalry? Uh, I, I would say that. Um, but for us players, I said, like I said, we, we approach all games the same. Uh, we take them all serious. But for the other people, for the fans, our students, I mean, I know. That probably plays a factor into into them. So we just gonna come out and do the best we can. You know, we put in. I feel like we put in a great scout report, great game plan to get a win. So we just gotta come out and do it. How much have you guys told Coach Oates what to expect for his first Alabama? Moment? And you know, you know, this is his first time in the SEC. So I told him, you know, they come out, they always play hard versus. I feel like they play the hardest versus us than anybody. But I told him it's gonna be a game of fight. Uh, we just gonna have to come out and be the tougher team. How much has Macklemore's pregame or not preseason kind of trash talk been discussed this week? We didn't pay that no attention. He just talking. How was yesterday's practice? Oh, uh, it was very tough. I mean, we, we broke down uh, our Kentucky film. Uh, we, we watched our mistakes. Uh, we watched everything from that game, and we just came back in to fix it. And now it's on the Arbor, and it's time to get right. How about the, the pace of practice? Though? Was, it, was it up a little bit? Oh, absolutely. We know there's going to be a game of, of running. We know they're good in transition, and we know we like to push in transition. So practice has been hard, a lot of running, because uh, we're going to have to have a lot of win that game. So it's been pretty tough. Nate mentions, you know, looking back on the film, that the team, the players kind of got a little out of sorts, not out of the game plan, you know, at Kentucky. Didn't quite play the way to shoot the threes or, or what. How much do you kind of fight that in those big situations, those big games, knowing, okay, in the back of your head, this is a huge opportunity. And how do you fight that going into this game where there will be a lot of threes on both sides, a lot of pace? Oh, you just have to slow the game down. Uh, we know with Kentucky, they pushed the pace. Uh, they crowd got into it. So it's just a lot of things that go through your head. We know these guys are going to come out. They're going to have a lot of fans because it's right down the road. We're going to have a lot of fans. The crowd going to be into it. So I got to tell the guys, just, you're just going to have to take your time, slow down, and just don't overthink it. When you overthink it, you start making mistakes and doing crazy stuff. So I just told everybody, take their time on everything and just and just play the game you know how to play. When your team is JQ, what's the look that's been in practice? He's dynamic. Well, I mean, he gives you the real look of Auburn every day, actually. It's just, just the way he handles the ball, the way he pushes it, as fast he is, he can get to the rim, finish with either hand. So he gave, he gives us a look uh, just about what the guards are going to give us every day. So I feel like we're going to be prepared. What, what, what does it say about him? He's not going to play this year, but he's still going to charge in practice. Uh, it just shows his motor, uh, just the desire and the passion he has for the game, just to come out and, and you know play on the scout team to make his teammates better, and help us get a W. So it says a lot about him. I mean, he's a good person. He's a great player. So I'm, I'm looking forward to see him getting out here on the court. I'm next important. Year. How important will those first shots be uh, after last our last game's performance? How important will those first few shots you guys take be in this game? I feel like they're going to be important because I feel like if they drop, they just start boosting some of our guys' confidence level back up. But like I told them, I mean, you really can't control if the ball go in or not. You can just only control your preparation, you know, your feet work, and, and just the way you shoot. So I told them don't change nothing, keep doing the things you do, and it'll all start coming back together again. Anything else? Being from this state, what, um, where, where does the conversation about this game, you know, rank as far as other players and, and kind of knowing, okay, this is a game we circle or, or what, you know, how, how much do y'all talk about this game in the off season, the build up, that kind of thing? I mean, we always know it's going to be probably one of our best games, uh, one of the games with the most people in here, with our crowd. Uh, we know it's always going to be the hardest game, one of the hardest games. So, I mean, we really don't talk too much about it. Uh, we just know when to get here, it's time to play, and it's here. So it's time to play now.